guys, it's me Estella and I'm back with finally another how to get a 5 AP video. So I'm doing today probably one of the most requested how to get a 5 videos ever, which is how to get a 5 on AP environmental science. So I know a lot of people, a lot of people have asked me to do um, a video on AP environmental science just because there's not that much information about it floating around the internet. So I'm just gonna cut right to the chase about talking about the exam. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna talk about just in general what AP Environmental Science covers and the topics and just like what is AP Environmental Science. And then I'm gonna talk about how I studied for it and how I got a five. I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. And if you do find it helpful, then definitely Share it with your friends that are also taking AP Environmental Science or self-studying for it um, just because it kind of helps get the word out. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video for more future AP videos because I'm going to be making a lot of them this year. So without further ado, let's get into the video of how to get five on AP Environmental Science. AP Environmental Science is also called APES for short, so I'm just gonna call it APES because I don't really feel like saying AP Environmental Science 4,000 times in this video. So first of all, this is a really good class if you've already taken AP Biology, um, especially to self-study because the APES exam covers ecology, which is a pretty substantial portion of AP Biology, and it pretty much covers the same thing almost. So at least like an entire section of AP Environmental Science is roughly the same as AP Biology, so that's why I, I took AP Biology my sophomore year, so that's why it just made it easier for me to study for the exam my junior year, so that's just one thing. And vice versa, if you take this class, you'll be more prepared for AP Biology, so that's just something to take into consideration. So some of the topics on the AP Environmental Science exam include the atmosphere, so the different layers of the atmosphere, what's in the atmosphere, air pollution, pollutants, ozone layer, all that kind of stuff. Soil, you're going to learn about the different layers of the soil, what they're called, what's in them. You're going to learn about ecology, like I said, so populations, ecosystems, about a lot of different cycles. You're going to learn about the water cycle, the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, pollution, so you're going to learn about indoor pollutants, not just outdoor pollutants and um, things like how smog forms, like what causes smog to form, and just about a lot of different chemicals that interact with each other. So that's just a quick overview about AP Environmental Science if you're thinking about taking it next year or self-studying or whatever. So that's just like a brief overview. So now I'm gonna talk about how I studied for the exam and got a five on it. I really honestly started really studying two weeks before the exam. I honestly think that you can manage to get a five just studying for one week and um, so I pretty much studied for, like really hard for a week and a half. So what I did was I used this book primarily, um, the, um, what's it called, the Princeton Review AP Environmental Science book and then I also used this other green book. I actually used the other green book first. It was called like the Smarty Pants' Guide to AP Environmental Science and I cannot find it. I was trying to find it but I can't find it so we're just gonna, you can look it up on the internet or I'll just like put a link in the description so you can find it but I actually used that one first and what I recommend you do when you're studying, first of all I recommend getting both books because the green book is not enough to get a five because it just doesn't have nearly as much information obviously as in this one since it's like really tiny but it's a really great overview of everything and I what I did to study was I first took notes from the green book so I went through the entire green book and took notes on it and I'll actually include some clips of me studying right now um, for the exam in um, April so that's pretty much what I did I took notes on the green book and then after that, I started going through this book and just highlighting through it, as you can see, and doing the practice questions. So, and I also wrote in the margins, like you can see, I also did practice FRQs, and um, like, yeah, you can see that I did that. So, I just, like, you can see, I mean, I really literally wrote all over this book. So.
Um, so that's pretty much what I did. I went over the green book, kind of, I went through and took notes inside of this book. Um, and then I, after that, did two practice exams. They provide two practice exams in here, so I did both of them. And then what I did was I did, like, the past five years of FRQs. I didn't really do them, um, but I just went on College Board and read through them. And the funny thing is that one of them was really similar to a previous year's one, so I pretty much knew exactly what they were looking for for the answer. So I definitely recommend looking through around the past five, six years of FRQ topics, maybe even more if you have more time, um, if you really want to make sure you do well on the FRQ portion. And I recommend doing two to three practice FRQs um, in this book because they definitely like if you don't do the full practice exam because obviously the practice exam has all the FRQs but one of the FRQs was actually super similar to one of the FRQs that I had just done the night before in this book so it really helped me out I think so that's honestly pretty much all you really have to do to get a five but there are a lot of other resources online if you don't want to just use prep books so there are a lot of YouTube videos and I'll link them in, and I'll put all the resources that I mentioned in the description box, but if you want to see more visuals like where you're really struggling on topic, then I definitely recommend Bozeman Science for a couple of the topics that I, I watched. And then there's like a YouTube playlist of um, a review for the APES exam, so I'll also link that in the description. And then there's like a few other videos that I found useful, so I put them in this, I'll put them in the... <sighs> I'll put them in the description as well. So yeah, and then um, also I found a lot of really useful websites that had uh, tips on the AP exam, PowerPoints for each unit, outlines, um, practice tests, cram packets, etc. Um, I didn't really use them, but I think they might be really useful to other people. Uh, so I'll also link them in the description, all the resources that I found while I was looking for resources for the AP environmental science exam but I primarily just used the two prep books that I had and just did practice um, questions and FRQs and that was pretty much it. So I recommend studying for the exam around at least at least a month before. Just go over the green book probably like a month before, take notes on that and just keep reviewing your notes up until the date of the actual exam. I also recommend using Quizlet or flashcards if you prefer that for just the different chemical formulas and also the names of... There's a lot of vocabulary in this class, so I definitely recommend making some kind of way of memorizing the vocabulary, if that makes sense, because there's going to be just literally straight up memorization questions. So that's pretty much all I have to really say. I just recommend also getting a good night's rest before the exam, even though I only got three hours of sleep, so yeah. but. Don't be like me and get a good night's rest before you take the exam. And probably most of you people are watching this video in May of like 2018 or April. So um, good luck to you future people who are taking AP Environmental Science. Um, hopefully you will get the score that you want and believe in yourself because I kind of did but I got a five so yeah and it's honestly not as bad as you think it is I was so nervous going into the exam because I just like was not feeling that confident but it was just really not that terrible and yeah it's not that bad of an exam at all so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and um, yeah I will see you guys in my next video so bye guys